fungus among us. Living trees cover massive extensions of the earth. We often see trees as immobile and unchanging creatures that stand still silently over millennia. However, trees are very active. For instance, they constantly trade carbon-based sugars for minerals and water with underground organisms, fungi. Some fungi, such as the ones that make mushrooms, build networks with root-like threads called hyphae that extend throughout the forest, exploring the ground for resources. These networks then connect to multiple trees from which to obtain sugars in exchange for the resources they find. While we often consider interactions between trees and their fungal partners as beneficial, a group of scientists at the University of Montana have found that connections to other trees via fungal partners may not always be such a good idea. At times it might even weaken trees and make them more susceptible to threats such as drought. The reason? Fights over who gets to keep the sugars. Let's start from the beginning. Trees suck tons of carbon out of the atmosphere through tiny pores in their leaves and combine it with water and light to make sugars. These sugars provide the energy and building blocks for basic living processes such as growing, reproducing and building defenses against herbivores. Fungi also use these plant-made sugars as energy to carry on the same processes because like us, they cannot make sugars on their own. Hence their interest on partnering with plants and exchanging the nutrients that plants need to make that sweet stuff. Despite constantly using sugars for all these processes, trees also store plenty of sugars. Until now, we thought that they only tapped into their reserves under stressful conditions such as droughts, when they cannot acquire enough carbon from the atmosphere because their leaf pores close to avoid losing water. Even in these conditions, they never fully deplete their reserves. Why not do so if they have them? To answer this question, researchers planted tree seedlings in pairs in big pots and connected them with fungal networks. Then they put one in the dark and prevented it from making sugars. As the poor seedling ate its stored sugars, they studied how the emptying of the sugar pantry affected the health of the darkened plant, its neighbor, and their relationship with fungi. Turns out that plants also use most of their stored sugars to retain water, as if they were millions of tiny sponges. They do this through a process called osmosis. As such, plants that consume their sugar reserves can't retain as much water and dry faster than plants allowed to keep their sugars and use them as sponges. But what does this have to do with fungi? Remember how we said fungi also rely on getting sugars from their tree hosts to live? Having to give sugars to fungal partners when they are scarce means less sugars to retain water, and hence trees can become more vulnerable to drought. What's most surprising is that the researchers found that these effects can spread to neighbor trees that share the same fungal network. If stressed trees within the network run out of sugars to give, fungi will take them from healthy neighbor trees. Over time, this burden can also deplete sugar reserves in healthy neighbor trees and therefore limit their ability to retain water using stored sugars. Hence, network-forming fungi that usually help trees by providing nutrients could also make trees more vulnerable during times of drought stress and spread such stress among them. The researchers now wonder about the implications of this discovery, as future climatic conditions in some areas will be prone to longer and drier drought spells. Will the ability of some fungi to aid in obtaining water and minerals outweigh the costs of paying them invaluable sugars during long droughts? Will forests be more vulnerable to droughts due to the costs of maintaining fungal partners? Or could fungi help forests by temporarily reducing and spreading the costs for struggling trees among their numerous neighbors? Clearly, fungi play a very important piece in the future of our forests. But as our researchers said, there is mushroom for more science.